Here we go again. Borussia Dortmund are keen on acquiring Jadon Sancho for a second loan spell after his short-term return last season, according to Sky Sports. The German outfit are said to be doing everything to keep hold of the 24-year-old, but are not in a position to bring him in on a permanent basis. It is unlikely that United will allow Sancho to leave on loan for another year, with Chiefs keen to make sales this year due to Premier League spending rules. Meanwhile, Thomas Tuchel is not planning to take the Manchester United job after talks with Sir Jim Ratcliffe, Sunsport can exclusively reveal. The former Bayern Munich gaffer intends to take a break from coaching this summer. In other news, Man United's review into manager Eric Ten Hag is reportedly in the final stages, and a decision on the Dutchman's future could be announced in the next week. Elsewhere, incoming Man United sporting director Dan Ashworth wants yes manager. ESPN has claimed that if the Red Devils opt to part with Ten Hag, they will want a specific character trait in the new manager. And it is someone who will not challenge the recruitment department over building the squad. The potential new manager would then have less power over the transfer process at the club. On the other side, Casemiro should leave Old Trafford. The midfielder endured a difficult second campaign at the Theatre of Dreams last season, but Mora, who was a teammate of Casemiro at Sao Paulo and has since returned to the club, has urged the central midfielder to reunite with him in Brazil. The former Tottenham star said, It would be a dream, one of the best midfielders in the world, and created here in Kodia too. I think his situation is more difficult. He still has a contract with United. He has a lot of wood to burn. It's a more delicate situation. But if he wants, we'll try to find a way here. Elsewhere, Johnny Evans, 36, has withdrawn from Northern Ireland's squad to take on Andorra tomorrow as a precaution rather than any injury issue. Manager Michael O'Neill did not want to increase the United defender's risk of a setback having struggled with a few knocks across the season. Evans is currently in discussions over a new United deal with his present contract expiring at the end of this month. On the other side, Christian Eriksen says he will not entertain a move to Saudi Arabia this summer. The 32-year-old could be one of several players sold by Sir Jim Ratcliffe this transfer window. Eriksen said, I have never received an offer from Saudi Arabia, and I have made sure that it has never been approached. If my agent has said something, I've always said that I don't even want to know what it is because it's not something that interests me. Again and again. Manchester United want to sign Lila star Lenny Yoro, but he prefers a move to Real Madrid, reports suggest. United will need defensive reinforcement in the upcoming summer transfer window following a turbulent campaign and the departure of Rafael Varane. According to Marca, Yoro, 18, is among the Red Devils' top targets and the Premier League giants have made a bid above the market worth 51 millions of pounds. But the centre-back is also courted by Real, and he has told the European champions that he wants to join them. Contacts between the two sides have not ceased, and Los Blancos have instructed the France Under-23 International, as well as his representatives, to be patient and resist higher bids from other clubs. The Spanish champions have many decisions to make, and there are pieces that must fit together before any further transfer reinforcement. Real recently landed Kylian Mbappe, and that was a deal that took a lot of doing following a long saga that dragged for years. Carlo Ancelotti's side view Euro as a strategic signing and one for the future. However, that doesn't mean the Madrid outfit are taking the competition lightly. United, on the other hand, are looking to shake things up following a dramatic campaign. The Manchester Giants finished 8th in the Premier League, which is their worst finish since 1990. Manager Eric Ten Hag has come under fire and is facing the sack, despite winning the FA Cup over rivals and Prem champions Manchester City. United Chief Sir Jim Ratcliffe will soon announce his decision regarding Ten Hag, and that will have an immense effect on the club's transfer activity. Euro shone bright this season and amassed a total of three goals in 44 appearances. Meanwhile, Galatasaray make double United bid. Man United fans have fumed at Galatasaray's double transfer bid for Aaron Juan Bissaka and Scott McTominay. According to Milliet, the Turkish giants have launched a 21 millions of pounds offer for both players. It has caused outrage among United fans, with one person writing, This is so disrespectful. 25 millions of pounds is too little. Another agreed and went on to comment, such disrespect. 
Elsewhere, Phil Jones wants Manchester United and England to manage teenage midfielder Kabi Mainu carefully. He said, I'm expecting Kabi to play a key role at the Euros. Whether that's from the start or the bench, I certainly expect him to play his part. I just hope he's managed properly. Managing a player like him, at his age, is so important. I played a lot when I was younger, and whether or not that had an impact on the later stages of my career, I don't know. Hopefully he's managed well, in terms of his training load and game time. There'll be moments where you're just going to have to take him out of the team, not because of his performances, but because you need to look after him and wrap him in cotton wool. We need to be thinking about the need for Kabi Mainu in five or six years from now, not just the need for him here and now. If you can manage him well, then we're talking about an amazing talent. On the B. Benfica have reportedly accepted the fact they will lose Joao Neves. According to reports in Portugal, the Lisbon Giants have rejected two offers for midfielder, who has been linked with Arsenal and Man United. They are holding out for his release clause to be met, which stands at 102 millions of pounds. Meanwhile, Manchester United must pay 80 millions of euros release clause to sign Morton Hulmond. Sporting Lisbon boss Ruben Amarim is trying to block the sale of Morton Hulmond as he considers him too important to lose this summer. The Red Devils have been linked to the Dane due to his fine performances in Portugal and United's midfield's glaring troubles. Casemiro has just come off one of the worst, if not the worst, season of his career, and he has been linked to a move away from Old Trafford, most likely to Saudi Arabia. Sofian Amrabat's future is also up in the air, and the most likely outcome seems to be that the player will be sent back to Fiorentina when his loan deal is up at the end of the month. This leaves United's defensive midfield area distinctly threadbare, and they have been linked to a move for the Dane. In fact, June has seen the news that the player is a priority target, and in a recent interview, he revealed his desire to play in the Premier League and was gushing about Manchester United's captain, Bruno Fernandes. However, reports by Portuguese paper Correio da Manhã claim that Ruben Amarim considers Morton Yulmond essential for the next season and does not want to lose the player despite intense interest from other clubs. Tottenham, Man United and Barcelona are in the front line to sign the 24-year-old, according to the, the report, and the two first count on his desire to play in the Premier League to try to convince him to move. However, Sporting will not be moved, and reportedly will not sell unless his $80 million release clause is met. Fellow Portuguese paper record also interestingly back this news up, that they will not be open to negotiations, and any interested party would have to refer to the release clause. There is always the possibility that the player could push for a move, or perhaps a strong performance in the Euros, for Denmark could convince even more teams to get involved in an auction for him, which might tempt Sporting to sell below the clause, if they can still secure a high price. However, with United also reportedly moving for Joao Neves at Benfica, United may need to choose between which player they feel they need more. Moreover, Ineos reportedly will not allow the club to spend more than 60 millions of pounds on one player, which if true, would clearly make it impossible to meet Yulman's release clause. Elsewhere, Toon Koopminers previously revealed he felt it was time to leave Atalanta. I have told Atalanta that I want to make a move next summer, but there has to be something really nice to swap that for Atalanta just like that he told The Telegraph earlier this year. My girlfriend and I are having a great time in Italy, but for some clubs in England, I'll put up with the rain. I hope there will be nice options I can think about, and then I hope Atalanta receive a nice amount for me, because I will have had a wonderful time there. On the other side, Manchester United are looking to sign centre-backs this summer to strengthen the position, and Goncalo Inazio is one of the names linked. In 2017, Manchester United looked to the Portuguese league to sign a centre-back, bringing in Victor Lindelof from Benfica. This summer is expected to be Lindelof's last at United, and to replace him, the club could once again look to sign a player from the league he previously played in. A name consistently linked to United over the past two years is sporting centre-back Goncalo Inácio. Inácio was a regular in the sporting team, which won the Portuguese league title last season 
10 points clear of their nearest rivals. The 22-year-old center back played 49 games in all competitions for Bruno Fernandes and Cristiano Ronaldo's former side, scoring four times. Goncalo Inazio has a release clause in his sporting contract at 60 million of euros, which equates to 51 millions of pounds. So, Manchester United were first linked to Goncalo Inazio in May 2022 via Portuguese newspaper Correia da Manha. He made his debut for sporting in October 2020 at age 19 under manager Ruben Amarim, and he has been a key part of the manager's success at the club. Inazio has won two league titles and two Portuguese cups, and made 171 career appearances to date for the club. He only made his Portugal debut late last year in October 2023, and has since earned eight caps, now part of the club's Euro 2024 squad. United have continued to be linked with Inazio over the past two seasons. Last week Fabrizio Romano said on YouTube that if the club target a left-footed centre-back, the sporting defender will be near the top of the list. Sporting are expected to hold out for Inazio's release clause. He is under contract to 2028, and they won't want to unsettle in-demand boss Amarim by selling their stars if they can help it.